Once again, we welcome you to our devotional series, Our Journey. And we are still on my theme, My Journey of Love. Let us pray. Lord, who art in heaven, we come before your throne of mercy this morning, thanking you once again for guiding and leading us. May you be with us as we shall be listening to this message today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Our topic for today is, do not love the world. And our text of consideration comes from 1 John 2 verse 15 to 17, which says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that are in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the last of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. The chapter opens by explaining that the words were written so that we do not sin. But if it happens that we do sin, then we should know that we have an advocate with the Father, who is Jesus Christ the righteous. We are then cautioned in the text above not to love the world and its things. In a nutshell, the love of the world and its things is a sin. What a scary thought to know. Seeing how materialistic this world has turned out to be, everybody is on a mission to become a millionaire nowadays. Network marketing and forex trading has got people hooked. These have turned into idols for most of us. The attention that we give to the products that we sell is far more than the one that we give to our Bibles. And this mostly applies to the young people. Christians who are usually shy to do house-to-house -house evangelism in their neighborhoods have mastered the art of convincing strangers to buy their products and have even managed to penetrate unentered areas to find customers. Our focus is no longer on our future in heaven, but rather on the here and now. We have even come up with expressions such as we live for the moment in order to convince ourselves that what we are doing is right, not realizing that it is the devil's ploy to derail, to derail us from our true purpose. God wants us not to love the world because he knows that the pleasures of this world are short-lived. He has instead prepared a better place for us and wishes that we could all get a taste of that blissful life because he loves us very much. Yes, we have been living in sin, but this is the time to make the right decision and turn away from our sins. We have been promised that we have an advocate who is speaking on our behalf. So it is time to refocus our attention on the right mark, which is our salvation. The year 2020 was an eye-opener for most people. People who had all the money in the world lost their lives due to COVID-19 because no amount of money was able to pay for a hospital bed or even a respirator. The situation humbled most of us a lot and we realized that the worldly treasures that we love so much are indeed vanity of vanities. In some countries, people started throwing money out of their apartments because the money they had could not buy them food or freedom during the worldwide lockdowns. The money we love so much became powerless and the only thing that seemed to keep people sane was worship for God. For a moment, we understood what the verses mean, that we should not love the world and its things. 
It was a journey that helped most of us to introspect about where our love lay. Unfortunately, the moment the sanctions were lifted, most of us lost focus again. Now we are able to go everywhere comfortably. But when the one day of worship comes, we start making excuses that we are afraid to catch the coronavirus. The Bible warns us not to love the world. By doing so, the love of God will not be in us. If we are blinded by the love of the world, we lose focus of our God as our provider and develop pride which only leads to destruction. Let us remember that this world is passing by, but those who love God shall remain forever. Love God and not the world. And to us young people, once again I plead with you, let not the love of God, let not the love of the world derail you from the love of God. Let not the love of the world derail you from your salvation. Let not the love of the world and its things lead to your condemnation and judgment. Let us pray. Our kind and loving Father, we come before your throne of mercy once again. In this journey of love, Heavenly Father, we have realized that you loved us so much and you want to keep a guard on us by warning us, dear Heavenly Father, not to love the world and the things that are in it, but rather to focus solely on you. Heavenly Father, help us that we keep our eyes focused on you to make way for our salvation. We thank you in, our, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.